All right, here we go. All this is the last tool duel using the Makita 36 volt recip saw. We're putting it up against a rigid 18 volt octane today. We're going to talk about the specs. We're going to use and abuse, slice and dice. We are also going to have a public service announcement today during the video. It's a little sad, but yet heartwarming at the same time. All right, let's take a look at the rigid octane first. You're looking at about $149 for the tool only. A stroke of one and one eighth of an inch. It takes the Octane Smart Battery or the regular Rigid 18 volt, doesn't really matter, but we're going with the 9AH today. She does have the orbital action, and we'll see if it plays a big role in today's tool duel. And you also got the LED light with a dedicated LED light switch right here. So if you pull the trigger, it comes on, or that light switch, either or. You do not have a rafter hook, you do have the variable speed trigger, and you do have an adjustable shoe. A lot of people enjoy that feature, so that's a plus. I would also like to point out that the shoe rocks back and forth very easy, very freely, very simple to use. Is it brushless? Of course! And you got 3,100 strokes per minute. The weight you're looking at 9.3 pounds. Another thing I like is that it's a little bit more compact than most of the recip saws out there other than, well, this one right here, the Makita 36 volt LXT. You simply must have two batteries to operate this, not just one. They do work in conjunction and we're using two 5.0 batteries in it for the test today. The size and weight to the rigid, basically identical, 9.3 pounds for the Makita also. 3,000 strokes per minute, length of stroke one and a quarter inches, three year warranty for the Makita, limited lifetime for the rigid. All right, let's get to slicing and the dicing. For this one here, I am not pushing down at all. I'm just letting the saw do the work and we're gonna see which one finishes first. So this one is going to be a long one. Now what I had mentioned in the other tool duels using the Makita saw, I'm gonna say again, even though there's no dedicated orbital action on this saw, there is somewhat of an orbital action on this saw, if that makes sense. But I'm curious, oh look at myself giving myself dirty looks. Man, there is just no love between these two. But the Makita saw also very smooth in operation. I'm telling you, very smooth. Ah, going a little crooked there on my rigid, but that's all right. Really just trying to compare which one is doing what. Can they keep up with each other? If I got one tool that's blowing away another tool, well, that's never a good thing. But even with me going crossed on that, the rigid taking it a little quicker, not much. But now let's just go down straight through. The orbital is not on. It wasn't on the last clip. It's not on this clip. Let's see what it does. We're going to rock them back and forth. So at first it looked like they were neck and neck, but the Makita is taking the lead right now. It's moving a little quicker than the Rigid. It's looking like that Makita is going to take the win on this. And again, no orbital action on the Rigid right now. Oh, and the Makita just dominating the Rigid without the orbital. Check that out. I was not expecting that. I thought it would have been closer. But will that orbital play a role? We're going to find out. It oh, hold on. We interrupt this video of awesomeness for this public service announcement. Look at him. Such a good guy. Working hard. Bringing the best tools to the channel that he can. Wouldn't it be nice if you could smash that like button and get subscribed so we could hit that 100,000 subscriber mark? Yeah, I think that's a great idea. Go ahead. All right, then. Let's move it along. All right, so we switched sides. We got the orbital on the rigid right now. Will that rigid orbital action make a difference going up against the Makita 36 volt? And it looks like it absolutely is making a difference with that orbital action on. Very impressive and how much faster it is with that. Boom! Yeah, it's done, man. It went through, so definitely a lot quicker. Let's try it again. Make sure it's not a fluke. Not a fluke. All right, all, so here's what I think. At the end of the day, it depends on what you wanna do and what you wanna spend. Now, if you ask me which one I'm going for, it might surprise you. Even though the rigid was faster on the orbital action, I still think that Makita was way smoother. Definitely, definitely way smoother than the rigid was cutting. 
I almost want to say it's my favorite recip saw, but I still got to go with that Milwaukee Super Saw saw. I mean, that thing is just a beast. It'll get it done. But at the end of the day, I mean, they're both great saws. I'll leave a link in the description below for you to check these out. But I want to know what you think. Which one do you think won the Tool Duel and why? Leave me a comment in the comment section below. I love hearing your feedback. Now, with that said, we appreciate it. if you could smash that like button, get subscribed, and hit that bell notification so you don't miss out on any other videos. I appreciate you stopping by, and we'll be back with more videos soon.